Welcome back. British Prime Minister Theresa May is vowing to step down if her Brexit deal is passed. This comes after lawmakers have twice rejected the Brexit deal May negotiated with the European Union. Some lawmakers are suggesting May should just cut her losses and accept defeat. Joining me now to discuss this further is former UK MP George Galloway. George, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, I want to read you a quote Welcome. from May saying, I'm prepared to leave this job earlier than I intended in order to do what is right for our country and our party. She said this with the intentions of hoping her deal would be approved in exchange for her departure. However, the Democratic Unionist Party had not changed its position and would still vote against the deal. Uh, May has lost favor and power. So one would think this would win her the approval she desires. However, it still wasn't enough. Why? It's quite bizarre, Ashley. Uh, vote for me or you get me for longer uh, is a novel in British uh, political history, I can assure you. But it might well work. Uh, you're right to say the uh, Democratic Unionist Party is not yet on side, but I've never known a political issue with the Democratic Unionist Party that couldn't be resolved uh, with the uh, uh, dip into the pork barrel. And that's exactly what's happening now. Talks are underway with uh, just what the British state can do for the constituents of the Democratic Unionist Party. So it's a cliffhanger. It's just been announced. A special Friday session of the House of Commons will take place tomorrow. Very unusual. And at the end of it, they hope that the Speaker of the House of Commons that we discussed yesterday will allow a vote to be taken. He has not yet spoken. So the, the, he's the shoe that hasn't yet dropped. But it's hard to imagine that the whole panoply of the British state will have something big in place. And one man, one little Napoleon, uh, John Barker, will be able to stop it. It's a cliffhanger. Uh, it's worthy of Hollywood itself. If you want my prediction, her deal will go through. She'll go. And so will we from the European Union on the 22nd of May. George, it's going to be interesting what does come out of that uh, Brexit debate scheduled for tomorrow. But I want to go back to uh, Arlene Foster, the leader of the uh, Democratic Unionist Party. She's saying one of the reasons why the party isn't backing May's deal is because of the backstop provisions for the Irish border. Threatens the integrity. She's saying it threatens the integrity of the United Kingdom, and her party would never sign up to something that would damage the union. So, could you explain to us how much of an impact that would have? Well, personally, I hope it does damage the integrity of the United Kingdom. First, because I don't believe in kingdoms, and second, because just six counties of the northeastern part of Ireland remain under British rule, entirely illegitimately in my view and in the view of the great majority of Irish people. This is a century old and now completely out of time uh, experiment in holding on to a small colony in somebody else's country. And uh, I'm sure they're right in this regard. The majority of people in the six counties would prefer to remain in the European Union than they would in the United Kingdom. And if, as it may very well soon do, came to a choice between the two, they'd choose reunification of a small island, Ireland, and remain in the European Union. But if that's the way the tide is moving, and everyone can see demographically and in other ways uh, that it is, then they might as well get something for the here and now. And that's what I, pre I presume they're now uh, negotiating, haggling over in the building behind me. What's in it for us? I don't mean personal corruption necessarily, though there is a history of that. I mean big public money going into their 10 constituencies. Now, George, I, I want to end on this question. You say that uh, May's deal will go through. It's failed twice. I want to know what makes you so sure. Just because it's that or nothing. And from the point of view of the hardline Brexiters in the Conservative Party, looking down the barrel of that gun, they can see half a Brexit, maybe a little less than half, or no Brexit at all if they don't back it. And the trickle is becoming a flood 
of converts to Mrs. May's rather tattered banner. If she gets it through, in all the circumstances, many of which are her own doing, I should add, it will be quite an achievement for the Prime Minister. Not a bad note to end her premiership on. All right, George, we're going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for your time, as always. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.